So today I'm going to show you how to make a custom dynamic super resolution. Now you're probably wondering why this is even a useful thing. Well, it's useful because DSR is basically rendering your game at a higher resolution than your screen's native resolution and then downscaling it to fit. Think of it like anti-aliasing, but with a custom dynamic super resolution, you can actually choose the level of anti-aliasing that you want down to a specific customized resolution. Now for me, I needed a custom dynamic super resolution since I have a GTX 1080. And while the GTX 1080 is perfect for 1080p and 1440p, in some games it struggles at 4K to keep that steady 60 FPS with some dips into the high 40s and low 50s depending on the game. So I made a compromise of getting 90% of the total pixels of 4K via my custom dynamic super resolution to hit that sweet, sweet 60 FPS target. Now let's get to the actual tutorial. So first of all, you're gonna need an Nvidia graphics card with the ability to use DSR. So anything from the 900 series and up should be adequate for this sort of compatibility. Now you're also going to need a calculator and the ability to do some simple mathematics as well as some basic knowledge of the Windows Registry Editor. So for step one, go to your desktop and open up the NVIDIA control panel. From there, you're going to go to Manage 3D Settings and find the DSR options. Under DSR factors, choose 4.0 times and only 4.0 times. Don't worry, because we'll change this 4.0 times multiplier soon to our own custom DSR multiplier. This is just so we can keep track of what hex characters are used for DSR later on in this tutorial. Next, you'll need to set your DSR smoothness. So choose a level that's appropriate for you. For me, I personally like 22%, but you can choose your own level. Now, what is important to note here is that once you set this smoothness, you will not be able to change it from the NVIDIA control panel. In fact, any changes to DSR cannot be done through the NVIDIA control panel. In order to change anything, you're gonna to have to repeat this process since NVIDIA doesn't natively support custom DSR multipliers. Step two. With that out of the way, I'm going to explain how DSR works and how we can make our own custom multiplier. So NVIDIA's 4.0 multiplier is actually two times the x-axis of your monitor's native resolution and two times the y-axis of your monitor's native resolution. So with my 1080p monitor, it's two times 1920 pixels and two times 1080 pixels to make 4K resolution, which is 3840 times 2160. So the 4.0 times multiplier is really two times two to equal four to give you four times as many pixels being rendered. Now that you understand this, we're going to make our own custom multiplier, but to do that, we need to know our target resolution. So if we want 90% of 4K on the X axis, we're going to need to do 1.9 times 1920, which will equal 3,648 pixels, which is 90% of 3,840 pixels. So this is what the X axis is for 4K. Now we need to repeat this step, but calculate it for the Y axis. So we do 1.90 times 1080, which should equal 2,052 pixels, which again is 90% of 2160 pixels. Now that we know our target resolution, we can calculate our custom multiplier using NVIDIA's DSR formula, which is your target resolution divided by your native resolution times 10,000. So if we're targeting a DSR resolution of 3648 times 2052, we do 3648 divided by 1920 times 10,000 and repeat this for the Y axis as well. So 2052 divided by 1080 times 10,000 and for both results, we get 19,000. But if you have a different multiplier and a different target resolution and native resolution, you'll get a different output. But this is just for my specific settings. Now that we have our DSR multiplier numeral, which for me is 19,000, we go to a website which can convert regular decimals to hexadecimal. So we input 19,000 and we get four a38, which is our hexadecimal multiplier. 
So for step four, we have to open up the Windows Registry Editor. So go to your Start menu and type in Regit, but I have a shortcut on my desktop. Once it's open, go to H key Local Machine, System, then Current Control Set, then Services, then NVL DD MKM, then Display Database. In there, there will be a bunch of folders, one of which will be your monitor for DSR. Now, if you have multiple monitors, finding your specific gaming monitor will be harder. But what you're essentially looking for is within these folders, a value that says smooth scaling data, which will signify your DSR values. Now, once we find your monitor, right click your monitors folder and then hit extract and extract the file to the desktop with the name dsr.reg. Now, it's important to keep this file as it will allow you to toggle your custom DSR settings after every driver update, so don't delete it. So for step five, we need to edit that DSR registry file that we just extracted, and we'll use something like Notepad. So right click it and open it with Notepad. In here, there'll be a lot of values, but we wanna change the hex values after smooth scaling data. And specifically, we're looking for the values 4e and 20, as these signify the DSR multiplier of 4.0 times that we set in step one via the NVIDIA control panel. Now, this bit doesn't make much sense because you're gonna invert the way that the actual hex values work. But basically, your first two hex characters that we converted via that website will replace the 4e, and they're actually second in the .reg file that we extracted. So in my case, I replaced the 4e with 4a. And then next, you replace the 20 with your second set of hex values, which in my case is 38. And these should be before the other characters that you replace. So once you're done with that, save this file and exit Notepad. From there, double click this file and it should ask you if you wanna continue. So click yes, and then click on OK, and then restart your computer. Then after restarting your new DSR, custom resolution should be enabled in all your games and it's enabled here on Counter-Strike Source. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button guys and subscribe for more tutorials, info and hardware reviews and I'll catch you guys next time.